Saint Bernadette of Lourdes, also called Saint Bernadette Suburus, born January 7, 1844. Lourdes, France, died April 16, 1879. Canonized December 8, 1933. Feast day is on April 16. French saint whose visions led to the founding of the Marian Shrine of Lourdes. Frail in health, Bernadette was the eldest of nine children from a poverty stricken family. Her father was a miller. She contracted cholera in the epidemic of 1854 and suffered from asthma and other ailments throughout her life. Between February 11 and July 16, 1858, at the age of 14, she had a series of visions of the Virgin Mary in the nearby Masabiel Grotto. Mary revealed her identity with the words, I am the Immaculate Conception, and among other messages and affirmations, told Bernadette that a chapel should be built there. Bernadette steadfastly defended the genuineness of these visions despite strong opposition from her parents, the local clergy, and civil authorities, and she faithfully transmitted Mary's messages. To escape public attention, she became a boarder in the local school run by the Sisters of Charity of Nevers. In 1866, she was granted admission into novitiate in the mother house at Nevers. There, she completed her religious instruction and passed her remaining years in prayer and seclusion. Happy and loved for her kindliness, holiness, and wit despite almost constant sickness and pain. She died in agony, willingly accepting her great sufferings in faithful fulfillment of her lady's request for penance. She was canonized by Pope Pius XI who authenticated her visions and the veneration of Mary as Our Lady of Lourdes. Celebration of her feast is optional in the Roman calendar. True Lourdes is a major pilgrimage for those seeking healing. The chapel of the St. Gilbert Convent, Nevers, contains her body, which is said to be incorrupt. St. Bernadette is the patron saint of illness and poverty, and the feast day is celebrated on April 16th. Prayer to St. Bernadette St. Bernadette, pure and simple child, you who were privileged to behold the beauty of Mary Immaculate and to be the recipient of her confidence eighteen times, 
at Lourdes. You who did desire from then on to hide yourself in the cloister of Nevers, and there live and die as a victim of sinners. Obtain for us that spirit of purity which will lead us also to the glorious vision of God and of Mary in heaven. O oh my God, I beg you by your loneliness, not that you may spare me affliction, but that you may not abandon me in it. When I encounter affliction, teach me to see you in it as my soul comforter. Let affliction strengthen my faith, fortify my hope, and purify my love. Grant me the grace to see your hand in my affliction and to desire no other comfort but you. Amen.